In this video, we'll look at whether potassium sulfate, that's K2SO4, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that the overall compound, K2SO4, is an ionic compound. But within the compound, we have this sulfate ion here. The bonds between the sulfur and the oxygens, those are covalent bonds. So if we find potassium on the periodic table right here, we see that that's a metal. And then sulfur and oxygen, here's sulfur and here's oxygen, those are nonmetals. When we have a metal plus nonmetals, it's almost always going to be an ionic bond. So according to the periodic table, K2SO4, that is ionic. We should probably look at the charge, though, because this is an ionic compound. So when we find the charge on the ions, we have the potassium ion here, group 1. That forms 1 plus ions, so we'll put a plus up here. Since we have 2, each of the potassium is 1 plus. Then the sulfate, this entire thing, this is a polyatomic ion. It's a real good one to memorize. The whole sulfate ion has an ionic charge of 2 minus. So you can see we need two potassium ions here with the positive charge to balance that out, give us a net charge of 0. Then we have positive ions and this negative ion. They're going to be attracted. They're opposites. That'll form the ionic bond. We should look, though, at the sulfate ion just for a moment here. So we said sulfur, that's a nonmetal. And then the oxygen, we have four of them, nonmetal. When we have nonmetal plus nonmetal, that is a covalent bond. We also call that a molecular bond. So the bond between the sulfur and the oxygen atoms, those will be covalent bonds. But the bonds between the potassium ions and the sulfate ion, that'll be an ionic bond. This is Dr. B with K2SO4, and thanks for watching.